But I'm going to do what you've seen me do before. I'm going to take the um, cover up and I'm going to try to tip it upside down. I have a flat uh, piece of plywood that I'll lay it on and uh, I'll position it and hopefully we can find the queen and uh, get them all settled. Okay, so step one, there is my little uh, flat piece of plywood here. Step two, I just got to make sure I have my queen catcher ready and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the first step is really... Uh, understanding the meter uh, these meters down here are not um, wired to a uh, like a resistor so there's no wires in there um, but I do need to be careful they have a little bit of the uh, comb attached to the back so when I pull this up I gotta be as gentle as I can um, I'm gonna try to pull it from this way back hopefully uh, but we'll see how it goes Okay, so here is the challenge now. I'm gonna have to lift this up and then turn it. The comb on the inside is hanging. So this will be real tricky here. The comb fell already. All right, sorry again, folks. The shade is not that great. My battery power is running low. Uh, you know the drill. I'm dumping the bees here. They're marching into the box. Uh, inside of the water meter, we got one more piece of comb. Nice big old sheet of comb. It's all fresh and new. My tool of the trade, right here. Find yourself a thin sheet of cardboard that you can bend into shapes. Old cereal boxes work great and make yourself various sizes of these and they're great for scooping bees out of again tight areas I could use my hands but instead of getting st stung on my fingertips I'd rather use this and you can scoop up a lot more bees uh, with a with a piece of flat cardboard so that's all I'm doing is scooping the bees gently gently from the sides and then dumping them here they're running into the box I do have one frame already of comb you can see they really packed up the honey and again it's uh, heavy flow here Brazilian pepper all over so that's it for now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this last piece of comb if I find the queen I'll be sure to show you all right folks so here we go again <clears throat> we're back again we got a pile of honey had about two layers of comb behind that other layer that you guys saw so that wasn't the last piece and here's another strategy that I use um, check this out Again, those wax foundation inserts, you can use these for a ramp. Instead of trying to scoop or scrape the bees off the side of that box, just go ahead and put it on an incline, blow a little smoke in there, and you see how the bees are using that for a ramp? They'll all move out. Now, I've got to be honest with you and say I didn't see the queen. Um, I did put an old queen clip right there on the front. Uh, bees were marching right into the entrance, so... You don't always have to see the queen, folks. Um, again, I know it's paranoid, uh, but if you can learn how to read the colony, just watch the bees. They're gonna follow their queen. So I'm 100% confident that she's in there, even though I don't see her. <clears throat> Otherwise, if the queen would have flew away, uh, all of these bees would have followed her. So I'm just gonna give these bees some time to acclimate. Little by little, blow a little bit of smoke in there. Got about four, four nice big pieces of comb like that. So this is a really healthy colony. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up and uh, get ready to go to work. Hope you have fun with your bees, folks. All right, folks. So uh, 
Yeah. I'm going to let the bees kind of clean out this honey. <clears throat> They're pretty much vacated the, uh, the meter now. There's no bees. Take off my little ramp here. Yeah, we're really good now. So now what I'll do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a meter reading. Okay, and then I'll try to clean up a little bit of this wax. I try to clean up as best as I can again. I don't want this to turn, turn into another swarm trap. Although if another swarm does move in, no big deal for me, right? I'm the one benefiting from the bees. These removals aren't too difficult, but they do take time. And you know, it's all what you want to do with your free time. I mean, I got a lot going on, but I love bees. I love spending time with bees. Probably got too many bees, but that's a blessing in disguise. Ah, and I just got stung. <laughs> 